Megan Rich was reported missing six days ago. Her body found on James Island Friday. Charleston police say her suspected killer and the father of her child, Brian Baker, died by suicide. Today we spoke with Charleston police asking why before his death, Baker was only charged with obstruction of justice when so many signs seemingly pointed to him as the killer. It was terrible. It's just, it's a, a terrible, very sad situation. That's the only way Charleston police can describe what happened to Megan Rich, a mother of two. A mother has been taken from her children. Um, a, a woman has been taken from her family. According to CPD, Rich was last seen by Brian Baker, the father of her five-month-old child. After her family reported her missing, Baker was arrested for obstruction of justice for not giving detectives accurate information. You have to think of the end game, I guess you could say, in terms of prosecuting someone, having all the evidence, making sure that it's a cohesive and comprehensive case. In the affidavit, police say they found evidence of blood in Baker's kitchen, noticed a knife missing, and a neighbor told them Baker asked for a ride from the area Rich's body was found. But even with all of that, Sergeant Wolfson says detectives had to wait for concrete connections to Rich. We just genuinely didn't know where she was. Um, and so we didn't want to go to that length to um, charge someone with a murder offense when we didn't have all those puzzle pieces as a part of it. Blood in a kitchen could be, we, we don't know if that's her blood, all that requires testing. Um, and so a lot of it, we have to wait um, until a lot of those results come back. Wolfson says after Baker bonded out on the obstruction charge and Rich's body was identified, police had closed in on Baker. They were working to complete uh, arrest affidavits to be presented to a judge that same day um, and they were uh, literally about to go present those things to a judge to be signed for his arrest um, when he uh, apparently died by suicide. It's unfortunate that it went this way um, and that he's not here to answer for this um, crime. Wolfson says even though Baker isn't alive, detectives are still trying to give Rich's family answers. We did ask area agencies if they had ever responded to calls involving Baker or Rich previously. Charleston police told us they responded to a domestic call in May, but no charges were filed. And we did obtain arrest records for both Rich and Baker. The only arrest on Rich's record was for a case that was dismissed. Baker's only arrest was the obstruction of justice charge.